Okay, welcome back. So here we are for some more. Let's see if we can model um, some more in this building back here. I'm hoping that we can get a lot done with it uh, uh, in this video. So let's <clears throat> go back. Uh, we'll change our outliner here back to our UV image editor so we can look at our uh, reference slash inspiration picture. Okay. Now we'll go back and isolate the uh, layer that that building is on. <clears throat> Let's numpad zero to center in uh, our rotation around that building. And believe it or not, I forgot to turn on my screencast keys once again. So let me pause the video for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. You think that I'd never done this before, and you know what? You'd be almost right. All right, um, let's work on getting in the windows here in the front. I know I want to do this smaller window to this side of the door. Uh, maybe we'll do that panel there. I don't know. And then I want to do one large window over here. We'll make it like a store, like a storefront window. Okay. So let's go into edit mode now. <clears throat> I know if I want to make some cuts going across here. That it's going to cut through my door and I don't want any any cuts going through my window here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into face mode uh, let me hit A to make sure I have nothing selected I am going to use my circle select tool and select everything that's a part of the door um, I will even get that down there why not uh, whoops <clears throat> okay uh, all right, I think that looks that looks good. Uh, eh, we probably don't need that face down there, so let's get rid of that one. Oop. Yeah, we definitely don't need that. So we will unselect that one. Okay. All right, that's everything that I want selected for the door. So I'm going to hit. P, separate by selection. Now if we go back into object mode, <clears throat> let me pick our, let's see, we have building one, and if we pick our door object here, okay, wait a minute, hold on one second. I want to include this in our door object too. So let me, uh, let me undo this here a few times. No? Okay, I guess there is no one doing that, so no big deal. <clears throat> Let's go into object mode. We'll select our building, go back into edit mode. We'll select that face, uh, that face, that face, and that face. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, P, separate by selection. Alright, go back in the object mode. Now I'm going to select this object, shift select this object, hit uh, control J to join those two together, I hope. Yes, okay. <clears throat> so now um, this is a separate object from the building. And I'm going to rename this object, uh, we'll just call it uh, Door. What a roundabout way of getting there, but we finally got there. Okay. So now if we go back into Object Mode, we select our building, go back into Edit Mode. Now we can make some loop cuts without having to worry about making cuts across our door here. So I'm going to go back into Vertex Mode just because that's the way I like it. Um, Let's look at our, our window. The top of it is about even with the top of the transom here. So we can use that cut. That looks fine. Um, I don't think we need this geometry in the rest of the building. We just use that for our door. So I'm going to Alt right click that. And let's see what happens if we hit X uh, dissolve edges. Okay. Alt, right click that, X, dissolve edges. I don't think that's going to create any problems for us. 
looks like everything's fine by the side of the door um, <clears throat> and that's less geometry uh, for the rest of our building which is uh, generally a good thing I think <clears throat> all right so we have the top of our window defined let's define the bottom of the window control R to initiate a loop cut and it looks like that window comes down pretty far not quite to the bottom of the glass in the door so uh, I don't know something about that that looks good okay so that will define the bottom of our window let's go ahead and define the sides so we'll do a loop cut here I'll scroll the mouse wheel up once to make two loop cuts and we'll just lock them in place right there um, I'm in perspective mode let me go back in the orthographic orthographic front view okay so now we have um, <clears throat> the basic size of that window defined um, I'll tell you what, let's go back in the face mode, deselect everything, select that face. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Yeah, okay, I'm going to hit P, separate by selection. Uh, go back in the object mode, select that object, and we're going to call that uh, small window. All right. With that object selected, we'll go back into edit mode, and this is what we're this is all we're going to edit to make our window. That way, we don't end up with a whole bunch of extra geometry going all over our building. And uh, the window is going to be a separate material anyway. Uh, this is going to be brick. Um, our door will make a separate material, and this window in the door we may even separate that out that the transom you know the glass all the glass we may separate out but for now um, let's just concentrate on getting uh, the rest of the geometry in this window filled out all right so what I want to do it looks like uh, there's a little top part on this window here let's see if we can't define that a little bit better go back in the vertex mode uh, control R um, I know I want a loop cut uh, probably about there. Let's go back in the front view. Alright. <clears throat> Control R. I'm going to put another one about there. That's going to be kind of kind of the divider between that top part and our main window. Um, it looks as if there might be a little frame going around that. So Let's see, we'll go into face mode here, select this face. Uh, let's hit E to extrude, pull that back just a little bit. Uh, then I'm going to hit I to inset that face. I'm going to hold shift because I only want to move it in just a little bit. Something about like that. Does that look about, yeah, that looks pretty good. These details are going to be so small that <clears throat> um, when we're looking at it from across the street, I don't think it will make a big difference if we're not 100% perfect. Now, of course, if we were making uh, this building uh, the front and center of our final render, we'd want to take a little bit of extra time, but let's see if we can't get this blocked in real quick. So now we'll extrude that and pull that back. Okay. Just a little bit. All right, let's go back in the object mode. So that is going to be just a little part above our window there. Um, I don't even know that we need this now, but we'll, we'll keep it. Yeah, why not? Maybe it'll be just a little extra detail. Um, <clears throat> well, now I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we'll pick that and that. Uh, let's see, what happens if we hit F to make a face? Let me go into wireframe mode. Okay. It doesn't look like there's a... Uh, whoops. Uh, sorry. My, uh, my keyboard can switch back and forth between the English alphabet and the Hungarian alphabet. And in Hungarian, the Z key on my English keyboard is a Y. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, I press Z, so now I'm looking at this in wireframe mode, just to make sure that there are no extra faces behind here. 
So that is now one face again. Um, let's do basically the same thing. It looks like the window is a little fit, bit further behind this part here, so we'll hit E to extrude. We'll pull it back a little bit further. Okay, it looks like we do have something strange going on here. Let me pit, hit that face, X, uh, delete the faces. Yep, we had an extra face in there. No big deal. Uh, we have some extras on the side here too, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. All right, grab that face, pull it back just a little bit more. Okay, about like that looks good. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't know. That window looks like it's insect a little bit further to me, so I'm going to pull this back just just another hair. Uh, maybe about like that. Looks pretty good. Alright, this is bugging me a little bit, so let me hit that, shift select that. What happens? Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just hit uh, X, delete faces. I'll go into um, <clears throat> vertex, select mode. Oh boy, we have some extra vertices here. Uh, X, uh, dissolve vertice. Okay, I'm making a mess of this, <laughs> and I apologize, but uh, sometimes when you're modeling, um, you'll realize that you've made some mistakes, and this is just how you go about cleaning it up. So maybe this, maybe watching me go through this will be uh, of some value anyway. Uh, I'm going to delete that face, go back in the vertex mode, and I think we got another extra vertex there. X, dissolve vertices, okay. All right. So now, let me go back into uh, Edge Select. I'm going to pick uh, that edge, Shift Select that edge, and that edge, and now hit F to make face. So now I have one solid face there with no extra vertices or edges. Um, <clears throat> it'll, since I noticed it, um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, clean that up right now. All right, so we'll pick that edge, that edge, and that one, F to make a face. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Do we have anything weird going on up there? I don't think so. Um, let me go back into face mode here. What is happening here? Okay, yeah. I think we do have something something a little odd going on here. Let me hit uh, Z to go in the wireframe. What is that? F okay, no, no, that that's just that face there. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about that anymore right now. All right. Let's pick this face here, and this is going to end up being our panes of glass. And um, our reference here has let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten. I don't know if we're going to do that many, but Let's see. Um, all right, Control R. I'm going to put a loop cut right along here. All right. Okay, we're going to Control Z. Undo that. I actually want this pane of glass, I think, to be its own object, so I'm going to do P, separate by selection, back in the object mode, pick that object back in the edit mode. And on this, I'm going to name it a small window glass. I don't know, I'm going to have to rename some of these objects, I think. Um, okay. Because I don't want that loop cut to cross over here. So let me uh, control R, loop cut, right in the center. All right, that's going to define the center of our window. Uh, control R. And let's see. I think, yeah, that looks too small. I think that looks about right. Okay. So let's go into face mode. I'm going to select all these faces. I'm going to hit I to inset, bring them in a little bit like so, all right, left click, 
But then you'll notice we have this panel pop up over here. And these are some, some uh, options for our inset faces operation that we just did. Now instead of insetting this whole region, I want to select uh, individual. And that selects the individual origins of the individual faces here to uh, inset. So that'll make our panes of glass. Now you'll notice on the side here we have uh, one face, uh, but between everything we have two faces uh, here. So I do want to scale uh, this whole thing in X just a little bit to kind of maybe this, yep, just a little bit that way to uh, well, that thins out the okay. All right, scratch that. Let me go into uh, Edge Select. And I'm going to select all these edges. Let's see what happens if we scale in X. Nothing. All right. Let me put uh, Shift S, cursor to Selected change our pivot point to 3D cursor. Now do scale, but constrain it to the X axis. And there we go. I just want to thin that out just a little bit. <clears throat> and um, I want to do the same thing with uh, these edges here. Um, let's see. Let me see, think if there's a better way to do this. Is, uh, we can't select all these and then scale to the 3D cursor because if we go scale Z, some you know it's gonna, it's not going to work. Um, individual origins, scale Z. No, that doesn't work. Um, active element, scale Z. No, that doesn't work either. Um, <clears throat> Alright, we may just have to do these one section at a time. Uh, so we'll select those. Shift S, cursor to selected. Make sure this is back on 3D cursor. Uh, scale Z. Move them a little bit closer together. Shift S, cursor to selected, scale Z. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but uh, this is the way I can think of for now. So, <laughs> uh, scale Z, thin that out just a little bit. Okay, great. Awesome. All right, let's go back in the face select mode. And I'm going to select all the faces that would be our glass. And I am going to hit uh, E to extrude and pull them back just a hair. Like so. Alright. So this is what we ended up with after all that uh, <laughs> all that going around. We ended up with a window that I think looks, looks pretty good. Now of course we need this big window sill sticking off the bottom. So let's think for a minute how we're going to do that. Um, I don't see anything right off the bat from here that we could just grab and extrude out. Um, so let me just pick that face, that fa face, shift S, cursor to selected. In edit mode, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll keep it part of the window. I mean, we can always separate this out later if we want. So in edit mode, uh, I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to add a cube. That we want to scale in Z. Remember, if we add geometry in edit mode, it's uh, the geometry is separate, but it is still part of the same object. So let's uh, go back in the front, scale this in X, and make it a little bit wider than the windows. It looks like it sticks out a little bit, eh, a little bit more maybe. Looks like it sticks out a little bit past. I think it looks nicer that way anyway. All right, <clears throat> let's go into wireframe mode. I want to scale in Y 
make it uh, pretty small. Right? And then we'll grab the whole thing and just kind of pull it out here. Alright, let's see what we got. There. I think that looks pretty good. Now we can, um, if we really wanted to, we could, uh, you know, add a bevel modifier to the uh, molding, I guess is what you call that, uh, that separates the windows. Um, we can also add uh, a bevel modifier to our windowsill here and probably to the building itself, but uh, I don't think we're going to need that level of detail from where we're going to be viewing everything. Let me turn on the other layers real quick. Um, go back in the camera view. Uh, whoops. And let's see, that's, that's what we have. Let me center on that so we can circle around there. So. I think that's I think that's going to end up looking pretty good. If um, if the window looks a little bit off, I think that looks a little large. You know, we can we can scale it down some and, and fix it up. But for now, um, I want to go ahead and put the big window over here. All right, center back on our object. There, we'll go into front view. We have building one selected. Uh, let's see. That is small window glass, <laughs> and that is, yeah, small window glass, and that is small window. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, straighten out these objects, but for the time being, let's, let's just battle on here. All right, <clears throat> pick that object. Um, all right, let's define how big we want this window to be. Uh, I think we want it to come even lower. Um, yeah, so it looks like it, uh, in the picture here, I kind of like the look. It goes almost to the ground, and it's a pretty big window. So let's see what happens if we pick this edge. Um, let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's just try it. GG to edge slide, and we'll bring it down to, I don't know, somewhere around there. And of course, that's giving us some crooked uh, lines over here on the side, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. All right, Control R. Let's add two loop cuts. Let me go back into orthographic view. And we want this window to be quite a bit bigger. So let me alt right click this edge here, GG to edge slide, and move it over. Um, yeah, why not? We'll make it about the same size as this over here. Uh, we'll grab this edge, <clears throat> GG to edge slide it, and pull it over to, I don't know, whatever looks good. Somewhere around there, I think, looks fine. Now this, uh, this window here actually looks like it has a divider in it, but I don't know that I, I think I might want it to be just one big window. Let's uh, go into face mode, select that face, and um, let's do the same thing we did with the other window. So I'll hit P, separate by selection, go back into object mode, pick that object, back into edit mode. And this let's name large window. <clears throat> All right, we'll pick that. Let's uh, E to extrude. And, uh, oops, bring it back. Uh, just a little bit. What is going on here? I think we've got something strange happening. Let me go back in the wireframe mode. Uh, it looks like we have two two faces there together. Um, let me X delete uh, faces or face. 
not quite sure how that happened. Um, let me see. Let me select this object. Whoops. Go back into object mode. Select that object and go into wireframe. See, this looks like it's just one face. So I'm not sure why that turned into two faces by extruding. But anyway, pick that object again, large window, go back into edit mode. Um, <clears throat> let's put a molding around the window. So we're going to hit that face, uh, just I to inset. I'm going to grab my shift and uh, I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, let's E to extrude that back just a little bit. Well, let's go a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. All right, back in the object mode. So now we have that. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's put a windowsill at the bottom there. Um, yeah, we'll do it the same way we did before. Let me grab a... Uh, Okay, our large window object. I'm going to grab, uh, select that face, shift S, cursor to selected, and in edit mode, shift A, and we'll add a cube, uh, just like we did before. Let's go in the front mode. <clears throat> uh, scale X. Whoop. Bring it on out a little bit past the window. Scale Z. Bring it on down quite a bit. Yeah, something like that. Alright, go in the wireframe mode so we can see. Um, scale it in Y. Bring it in quite a bit. Uh, move the whole thing into position. Um, right about there. And so I'm going to pull out just a little bit more. Alright. Go back into object mode. Let's see. I don't know. Do you think we need a divider on that window? Yeah, that looks like two windows there. Um, I guess we can do that. Why not? All right, we have large window selected. We're in edit mode. Uh, let me control R. Okay, wait one second. Yeah, because I don't want uh, I don't want that loop cut to go all the way across there. So I'm gonna pick that P. Separate by selection. Uh, this object. We'll just call it large window glass. <clears throat> I'm really going to have to fix the names of these objects, which I will do uh, when I'm not making a video. All right. So uh, in object mode, pick that object back in the edit mode. Control R. Make two loop cuts. I wonder what happens if we just uh, scale X. Because we want to bring those close together. Something like that. All right. I want to select uh, that face now and uh, E to extrude and bring it on out so it's, I don't know, maybe uh, not quite out that far. About like there. All right. Back in the object. Yeah, yeah, I think that looks a little better. I don't know why, but I kind of like, I kind of like the look of that a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> So now we have our front door, and we have two windows. Um, let's put this uh, this detail at the top of the building here. Not happy with with that. Um, 
I'm going to edge select. Select that edge. What happens if we spring? Okay, now that doesn't work. Um, well, <laughs> I won't worry about that so much right now. Okay. All right, so it looks like to define this area up here, we need at least a couple of edge cuts on the building. So let's control R. We'll put two edge cuts, and that will define the area. It's probably just about in the right place where it is. That'll define the area where we're going to make that detail on our building. And I don't know if that would actually go around the side of the building. For right now, I'm just going to assume that it goes into the front and has some kind of an end cap on the end. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. So let's go into uh, face select. Select uh, all these faces here. All right. And first, let's uh, hit E to extrude that. And I'm going to hold down shift and just pull it out very, very slightly. About like that, I think. All right. Okay. All right. Hold, hold on for just one moment. I'm going to pause the video and be right back. Okay, here we are back again. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me actually uh, go back here a second. <clears throat> okay, what, what I'm going to do is, um, let's see. Now I think I'm, I'm going to separate this again too because I don't want all the extra geometry going all over the place. So uh, P, separate by selection. Back into object mode. Make sure we have that selected. Back in the edit mode. This I'm going to name <clears throat> uh, dental molding. I think that's how you spell molding? Anyway. Okay. Alright, so with everything selected, <clears throat> let's E to extrude this now. Uh, hold down shift, just pull it out ever so slightly, like so. Alright. Let's uh, control R, another loop cut. Uh, this way, probably right, uh, right about here. Okay, we're back in the face select mode. <clears throat> and I want to select all these faces now on the top. Okay, and. Let's see, we'll go E to extrude, hold down shift, now just a little bit, okay, let's see, is that enough? I think we might want to pull all that out put this back to individual origins. We might want to pull all that out just a little bit more. Something like that. Alright. Alright, go back in the front view. Uh, control R. Another loop cut. I'm going to put this one down pretty close to down here. Alright. 
All right, you, you see you see what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm going to make like a little stair step uh, effect. Pick all these faces. All right, E to extrude. Hold down shift. I'm going to pull it out about that far. Let's do maybe one more of those. Loop cut. Uh, about there. Select all these faces. Uh, e to extrude. We'll hold down shift. Pull it out. Just a little bit like that. Okay. Let's go back into object mode and see what we got. All right. So we've got that kind of effect now on the front of the building. Debating whether or not that we need to uh, pull that out a little bit more. It looks like it might be a little thin. Um, let's see. Yeah, that might be a little thin. So let's try this. I'm going to go into a uh, Edge select mode, uh, Z, to go in the wireframe mode, deselect everything. Uh, I'm going to hit B to border select, and I want to get all of these. And pull them out, I don't know, something about like that. Let's see how that does. Okay, A. I don't know if we can. No. Um, Okay, now I'm going to border select or box select all of these edges. Pull them out uh, uh, like so. And then do all of. Uh, whoops. Eh. All of these. Pull these out just a little bit. All right. Oop. All right. Yeah, I think that looks that looks a little bit better. <clears throat> that little bit I think made that stand out uh, just a little bit more. Yeah. I think we could even do one more, one more level. So let's go back into face select. Use my circle select tool. We'll select all of these faces. Uh, let's look at it from straight on the, at the side. <clears throat> um, e to extrude, and whoops, Control Z. Forgot to put our other loop cut. Uh, about like so. Face select C for circle. We'll grab all these. Now we'll look at it straight from the side. E to extrude and bring it out about like so. Just like all the rest of them. Okay. That's <clears throat> that's looking more like uh, what I was thinking. Alright. Now it's time to make this little dental uh, effect up here. So, let's see. How do we want to do that? Oop. Okay. One way I can think of. Uh, let me see. Let me pick this face. Let me see. Control. Oop. Shift S, 
cursor to selected. I'm going to go into object mode, shift A, <clears throat> and I'm going to add a mesh cube. And this will just name uh, dental detail. I don't know. We'll have to figure out better names for these later. All right. So I want to scale this object down to about the size that uh, we want it. Okay, pull it out there so we can see the whole thing. Let's look at this from front. And <clears throat> from front orthographic mode, I'm going to grab it and stick it right up here in the corner. All right. Let's uh, scale it in Y to make it kind of thin, about like that perhaps. Let's look at it from top view. Put it right against, <clears throat> right against our uh, building there. Okay. All right. Now what I want to do is, uh, let's see. What do you think? Scale Z will make this a little bit longer. Yeah, I think a little bit longer, like that. Let's look at it from the side and make it even with the top here. Okay, that's about right. Now, I want to shift D. Uh, that, uh, wait a minute, hold on. No, I'm in object mode, control Z. Um, <clears throat> I want to go back into uh, edit mode. And with everything selected, well, I'll tell you what, let's make this a little bit cleaner. I know. We have a lot to clean up on this mesh here. I'm going to select that back face, X, delete faces, because we don't need that back face. Okay, now, so from front view, with everything in that object selected, I'm going to shift D, select it, lock it to the X axis, move it on over. <clears throat> Wait a minute, I've got even a better idea. Uh, control Z, let's undo that. Um, yeah, okay, let's uh, Control R, we'll put an edge loop right in the middle there. Uh, back in face select mode, I'm going to select this face. Let me look at it from the front view. And I'm going to um, extrude it. Uh, about half as far as, uh, yeah, we'll make it about like that, I think. Okay, go back into, so here's what we have. Now let me go and add an array modifier and see if this is going to work. I'm going to add an array modifier to that object and no, it isn't going to work like that. Um, okay, let me get rid of the array modifier. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can undo that. Okay. okay. I'm going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to move it over this way. And we're going to extrude this face. We'll go to top view, extrude, and we'll just move it so it's even with the end of the building. <clears throat> okay, back in the front view. Now let's add our array modifier. Okay, what am I trying to do here? All right, let me pull this out a little bit more. About like so. Select everything, <clears throat> slide it on over. All right. So let's increase our array modifier all the way across the building here. Let's see, 64? Yeah, that about lines up, doesn't it? <clears throat> Just about lines up with the building. That we can, we can fix up in <clears throat> edit mode. Um, I think our bricks need to be a little bit longer, though. So let's grab that. Let's 
grab that face, pull it down in Z a little bit. All right, let's go into Okay, so this is what we have now. Um, <clears throat> I think that whole thing looks small. I think I'm, well... Let's see. When it comes time to texture the building, we may need to adjust this. So I'm not going to apply the array modifier just yet. Um, is when we put a texture on this building, I want the bricks to be about this size. Um, so for right now, we'll say that that's that that's good enough uh, for right now. Yeah, I think that's good enough for for right now. Okay, let's bring our other layers back. Go back into. Uh, Camera view. Okay, we're in perspective. Whoops. All right. Perspective view from back inside the diner. Uh, let's focus on the table. <clears throat> okay. So here's what we have across the street um, with that building. I think it's coming along. Um, <laughs> this video had a lot of starts and stops and oops, got to fix that. But <clears throat> these are the things I find that... Uh, uh, happen when you're trying to model and I think maybe seeing me go through some of that will be helpful in some form or fashion if anyone ever does watch this video and you feel like leaving a comment go right ahead I'd love to love to read it all right uh, that's it for now when uh, <clears throat> we come back for the next video I am going to have uh, the the names of these objects cleaned up I'm probably going to clean up the mesh a little bit, especially that crooked part around the side. Uh, I may join some of these objects together, but I'll explain that in the next video. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to finish out this building uh, in the next video. All right, thanks very much for watching, assuming anyone ever does watch this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks.